Sooner fans, we've had our heartbreaks. We've had our tough thought league games in the past under Bob Stoops, like the Boise State game where we lost in overtime. Um, we won an overtime game. We lost a close game to Baylor last year. We've won some close ones. We've won. We've lost more close ones than we've won. Bob Stoops finally added another close one to the record books as Oklahoma got revenge over West Virginia for what they did to Sam his freshman year. And revenge, let me tell you, revenge has never been so sweet. A 50 to 49. One point. One point victory over the Mountaineers of West Virginia. It was just, it was awesome. It was awesome. It, it came down to one play in the third quarter, and it was a missed PAT. <laughs> That's what it came down to. Because then they had to nip and tuck, and they had to do and go, and they had to do this and do that. But it was, it was a great, entertaining ball game. I'll tell you how it happened. What happened on each side, the stats. Let me tell you, it's a pretty good ball game. Might want to forget about the the tape, however, of it. Defensively, but I mean offensively, it was two offensive teams heading in to Morgantown, West Virginia. Both teams on a high. Oklahoma, though, comes up with the biggest play of the night. Tell you how it happened. All this and more next on the Oklahoma Sooners Post Game Report. Sooner fans, here's how it happened. And it started, well, you score 50 points. So you'd think that it happened, started all on the first drive, right? Well, it did. It all started on the first drive for the Sooners as Landry Jones and Trey Millard hook up with 11 one left with a 40-yard touchdown pass to give the Sooners a 7-0 lead. On their next possession, Michael Honeycutt adds a field goal to put them up 10-0. Sooners firmly in control, up 10-0 in this ballgame. But then it's Tyler Bettenkirk from West Virginia with a minute 28 left in the first quarter. And he'll knock in a field goal of his own. As we have a 10-3 game heading into the second quarter. Into the second quarter we go. With 10 minutes left in the second quarter, Andrew Bowie out of West Virginia gets a one-yard touchdown, ties the ball game 10-10. And, uh, well, then the Sooners took the lead back. 76-yard touchdown pass from Landry Jones to Jalen Saunders with 9.35 left. 17-10 Sooners at this point. Then for the first time of the game, Landry Jones and Kenny Stills hook up. A four-yard touchdown pass. 5-16 left, bumping their lead 24-10. Later in the third, second quarter, a 33-yard pass from Geno Smith to Stetton Bailey. Touchdown, West Virginia. 24-17, cut the lead in half for Oklahoma after a fumble by Damian Williams. 
on the next possession, Damien Williams made up for his mistake. As he get let in a 48-yard touchdown himself, touchdown Sooners, 31-17 at this point with 2.13 left. Oklahoma did get the ball back for one final possession and pushed the field goal to the right. So, heading into the third quarter, with 14-16 left, so we just kicked it off to him. And then a 74-yard touchdown run by Tavon Austin. 31-24, 14-16 left in the third quarter. But the Sooners still have the game in hand. They're up by touchdown. Then Kenny Stills and Landry Jones a little bit later with an 11-yard touchdown pass. And catch 11-54 left. Sooners take the lead, 24-38-24. Later in the third quarter, a four-yard touchdown run by Tavon Austin. Here's the key play of this game, guys. A missed PAT. He pushed uh, Bettenkirk. Pushed the PAT to the left with five. The score happened with 556 left. So with 556 left in the third quarter, Oklahoma has the lead 38 to 30. Heading into the fourth. Uh, you got Geno Smith and Stetton Bailey. Stedman Bailey, I should say, once again. Touchdown, four yards away. Giving the lead of just two points to the Sooners with another missed PAT with 11.22 left. So the bad, But the bad luck changes for West Virginia as they were able to take the lead next. With an eight-yard touchdown pass from Geno Smith to Stetton Bailey. 38-43, 7-12 left. Missed PAT there also. Two-point PAT. Then, with 4-10 left, Landry Jones and Kenny Stills. 44-43, two-point conversion, no good. 4-10 left. Ben... Stetton Bailey, Stedman Bailey, and Geno Smith do it again. They hook up with again a 40-yard touchdown pass. 49 to 44. Lead going to West Virginia. But Oklahoma not done. Kenny Stills, Landry Jones, five-yard touchdown, 50 to 49, 24 seconds left. No more scoring in this ball game. Oklahoma wins. Oklahoma wins. Oklahoma wins. Statistically for the sides, Landry Jones threw for 554 yards, six touchdowns, and one pick. On the other side, Geno Smith becomes the first Sooner opponent to throw for over 300 yards. He threw for 320, threw for four touchdowns, threw two interceptions. Rushing the ball for each side, of course. Damian Williams, the one for the Sooners. 22 attempts, 92 yards, and a touch. But Tavon Austin did the rushing for West Virginia. 21 attempts, 344 total yards on the ground, and two touchdowns. That's just on the ground. Receiving-wise, Kenny Stills had 10, 10 catches, 91 yards, and four touchdowns on the Oklahoma sideline. On the West Virginia sideline, Stedman Bailey also had four touchdowns. With that, he had 13 catches and 205 yards. On the defensive side, the defensive standouts, Aaron Colvin, eight tackles, a pick, three pass breakups. 
in this bowl game for the Oklahoma student out of Owasso. What a game by him, the air conditioner. On the other side, Dave, Darwin Cook had 10 tackles in this game. Kicking-wise, Michael Honeycutt was one for two, along at 32 yards. The other, the miss came, of course, with just under a, just a few seconds left in the second quarter. Tyler Bettenkirk was one for one. He had a long of 19 yards. The punters for each side, Tress Way, he's going to be a missed senior this year. But this time around, he had three attempts, 38 yards on average, two of them inside the 20-yard line, and a long of 45 yards. Tyler Bittenkirk does it all for West Virginia, kicker and punter. Punting-wise, he had two attempts, 38.5 on average, zero of them inside the 20-yard line, four T as a long, a long of 40 yards. Heupel's half of the game was the five-yard touchdown pass with Landry Jones and Kenny Stills. Stills, is fourth, Stills and Landry's fourth hookup of the night. With 24 seconds left in the game, the defensive stop of the game was a fourth and one at the Oklahoma 14. Andrew Bowie, a uh, loss at the 45-yard line in the third quarter. The uh, the goals for this team, offensively and defensively. Offensively, I said that they have to get started quickly and they have to be ready to score. And they did super at that, scoring 50 points. That's exactly what they did. They were ready to score, gain in, gain out. They went in there in the first possession, scored a touchdown. They were ready. Defensively, you got to be careful. West Virginia loves to score the football. They weren't ready. Oklahoma gave up 49 yards of offense. 344 yards passing, 301, 320 yards, 344 yards rushing to Tavon Austin as a rusher, most in an Oklahoma rushing opponent, most as most passing yards this season for an Oklahoma opponent, also with 320 by Geno Smith. Oklahoma's defense was just they got enough stops to win this the ball game. That's all that could be said about the defense. Special teams. Do what you have to do to win. They did that. Two punts in the twenty at the inside the twenty yard line, and one for two on field goals. They did what they had to do to help us win the game. Now you look forward to Bedlam. Not that this thing wasn't Bedlam. A forty nine to fifty, a fifty to forty nine victory over West Virginia in Morgantown. What a game that was. You, if, if you get a chance to watch this game and you're just a college football fan, here's the game of the year, in my opinion, right here. And I'm not just an Oklahoma homer saying this. I, I, I'm a college football fan saying this. This is the game of the year right here. And it's not just because it was one point either. It could have gone either way. Oklahoma wins it, though. 50-49. to 49. A big win for the Sooners. Now they get ready for their Bedlam rivals of Oklahoma State. This has been Harry James Taylor with the Boomer Sooner 1982 report. Thanks for watching, and as always, Boomer Sooner. <laughs>